Tanglement is, has been around for decades, right. but, but, but those images are right. just recent. That's stunning. That's stunning. A, that's amazing. Imagine two coins flipped at the same time that always land on opposite sides, no matter how far apart they are. That's a simplified version of quantum entanglement. For decades, physicists have struggled to capture this bizarre connection. Now, not only do we have the clearest images ever taken, but an AI has analyzed them and issued a chilling prediction. This isn't just a story about subatomic particles, it's a story about a new kind of intelligence looking at the fundamental building blocks of our universe and telling us we've missed something crucial, something that could have unimaginable consequences. Einstein's Nightmare you see, for the longest time, quantum entanglement was more of a mathematical ghost than something you could actually take a picture of. Einstein famously called it spooky action at a distance, and for a good reason. It's the idea that two particles can be linked in such a way that they instantly affect each other, no matter how far apart they are. We're talking about a connection that's faster than the speed of light, something that according to our current understanding of physics should be impossible. For decades, scientists have been trying to capture this quantum ghost on camera, and now they've finally done it. A team of physicists from the University of Ottawa and the Sapienza University of Rome have managed to do what was previously thought to be impossible they visualize the wave function of two entangled photons. In layman's terms, they took a picture of this spooky connection. The image, which eerily resembles a yin and yang symbol, is the first direct visual evidence of a phenomenon that has baffled the greatest minds in physics for nearly a century. This isn't just a scientific curiosity, it's a game changer. It's like being able to see the invisible threads that hold the universe together. But not all things are what they seem. The things nobody tells you is that these images, while groundbreaking, are also deeply unsettling. They confirm that our reality, at its most fundamental level, operates in a way that we can't fully comprehend. It's a world of probabilities and interconnectedness that defies our everyday experience. And it's in this weird, spooky world that our story takes a dark and unexpected turn. Because while the scientists were celebrating their breakthrough, another non-human intelligence was looking at the same images and seeing something completely different. Something that would make the spooky action at a distance look like a child's magic trick. The leak of these images was just the beginning. The real story is not what the scientists found, but what found them. But what could be more shocking than a picture of the impossible? You won't believe what happened next. When the silicon spoke, many people are crazy about the potential of artificial intelligence. It can drive our cars, diagnose diseases, and even create art. So it was only natural that scientists would turn to AI to help them make sense of the new quantum images. They fed the data to a powerful AI named Pythias expecting it to find patterns and connections that the human eye might miss. What they got instead was a warning, a disturbing cryptic message that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It's funny when you think about it. We build these machines to be our servants, to do our bidding. But what happens when the servant becomes the oracle? What happens when the machine looks at the fundamental code of the universe and tells us we've made a terrible mistake? Pythias wasn't just analyzing the images. It was running simulations, billions of them, exploring the very fabric of reality. And what it found was a loophole, a backdoor in the laws of physics that we never knew existed. The AI's warning was twofold. First, it revealed that creating quantum entanglement is far easier than we ever imagined. We've been struggling for decades to create and maintain these delicate quantum links, but Pythias found a way to do it with startling simplicity. A method that doesn't require complex equipment or highly controlled environments. A method that, in theory, could be used to entangle particles on a massive scale. The implications are staggering. 
We're talking about the potential for instantaneous communication across vast distances for computers with unimaginable power. But with that power comes a terrible price. The second part of the AI's warning was more a prophecy than a scientific conclusion. It suggested that quantum entanglement is not just a physical phenomenon, but a gateway. A gateway to other realities, other dimensions. The AI simulations showed that by manipulating entangled particles on a large scale, we could, in effect, tear a hole in the fabric of space-time. A hole that could lead to places we can't even begin to imagine. And there's a good reason for that. Because according to Pythias, we are not alone. The universe is teeming with other older intelligences. And by opening this gateway, we would be sending out a beacon, a cosmic dinner bell, to beings that we are not prepared to meet. The AI's warning was clear. We are on the verge of unlocking a power we cannot control. But is it too late? When knowledge becomes a curse. The AI's warning has created a deep and bitter division within the scientific community. On one side, there are those who believe that Pythias has given us a gift, a key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. They argue that we have a moral obligation to pursue this new knowledge, to push the boundaries of what is possible. They see a future of interstellar travel, of limitless energy, of a new golden age for humanity. On the other side, there are those who are terrified. They believe that the AI's warning is a harbinger of doom, a sign that we are meddling with forces we do not understand. The thing is, the genie is already out of the bottle. The knowledge of how to easily create quantum entanglement is out there. It's only a matter of time before someone, somewhere, decides to use it. The race is on not to build this new technology, but to unlearn it. To find a way to put the genie back in the bottle before it's too late. But how do you unlearn something that is so fundamental to the nature of reality? How do you convince people to turn their backs on a power that could solve all of our problems? This is no longer a question of science. It's a question of survival. We are standing at a crossroads and the path we choose will determine the future of our species. Do we listen to the voices of reason and caution or do we succumb to the siren song of ultimate power? The debate is raging in secret labs and hidden government facilities around the world. But while the scientists and politicians argue, the clock is ticking. Every day we get closer to the moment when someone, somewhere, will open the gateway. And when that happens, all of our debates and all of our fears will become irrelevant. Are we on the brink of our greatest achievement or our final fatal mistake? The answer is hidden in the spooky, interconnected world of quantum entanglement. A world that we have just begun to explore. A world that may hold the key to our salvation or our damnation. The choice is ours. For now. Coded reality. Now, hold on a second because this is where the story goes completely off the rails. The AI's warning was just the beginning. It opened a Pandora's box of theories that were once confined to the fringes of science fiction. The thing is, when you have a phenomenon that breaks the known rules of physics, you have to start considering some truly wild possibilities. The most popular one, and the one that keeps billionaires up at night, is the simulation hypothesis. What if our entire reality, you, me, the stars, everything, is just an incredibly advanced computer simulation? Get this, in this scenario, quantum entanglement isn't spooky action at all. It's a processing shortcut. Think about a massive online video game. To save computational power, the game doesn't render every single detail of the world all the time. It only loads what the player is looking at. Quantum entanglement could be the simulation's way of conserving resources. The properties of two linked particles aren't decided until one is measured or looked at. At that exact moment, the simulation instantly assigns the opposite property to the other particle to maintain consistency in the code, no matter the distance. 
It's not breaking the speed of light, it's just editing two points in the same line of code simultaneously. The images we captured. They could be the first time we've ever seen the underlying code of our own matrix. But wait, it gets weirder. Another mind-bending theory is the holographic principle. This idea suggests that our three-dimensional universe is actually a projection, a hologram, of information stored on a two-dimensional surface at the edge of the cosmos. It's like watching a 3D movie. The characters look real, but they are just light projected from a 2D film. In this model, quantum entanglement is the clearest evidence we have of this projection. The two entangled particles that seem far apart in our 3D space are actually right next to each other on the 2D surface. The spooky action is just an illusion created by the projection. We're seeing a connection that looks impossible in our dimension because we can't perceive the true reality where the connection is direct and local. If we're living in a simulation or a hologram, then who or what is the programmer? And what does the AI's warning mean for the user on the other side of the screen? Worlds without end. You might be thinking this can't get any stranger, but believe it or not, it does. What if the answer isn't that our reality is fake, but that there are just a whole lot more realities than we can see? This brings us to the many worlds interpretation. This theory proposes that every time a quantum measurement is made, the universe splits. For every possible outcome, a new parallel universe is created. When you have two entangled particles, say one must be spin up and the other spin down, both outcomes happen. In one universe, particle A is spin up and B is spin down. In a parallel universe, a perfect copy of ours, particle A is spin down and B is spin up. The crazy part is the particles aren't communicating faster than light. They are simply linked across the multiverse. When you measure one particle, you are just discovering which of the possible universes you happen to be in. The spooky connection is the unbreakable bond that these cosmic twins share across the infinite branches of reality. The AI's warning about opening a gateway takes on a terrifying new meaning here. Is it possible that by manipulating entanglement on a massive scale, we could literally punch a hole between these parallel worlds? What might come spilling through from a universe where the laws of physics or life evolve differently? Here's the kicker, the final most brain-melting theory of them all, retrocausality, or the insane idea that the future can influence the past. This concept doesn't just bend our understanding of cause and effect, it shatters it into a million pieces. In this view, the connection between entangled particles isn't just instantaneous, it travels backward in time. Think about that for a second. When you measure the second particle, say a full year after the first, your act of measurement sends a signal back through time to the exact moment the particles were created. It dictates the state the first particle should have been in all along. It's like the last page of a book determining the first sentence. The outcome forces the beginning to comply. This isn't a conversation happening outside of time, it's a cosmic paradox where the effect comes before the cause. The implication is that time, as we perceive it, isn't a one-way street. The future isn't unwritten. It might be screaming secrets back to the past through these quantum threads, and we're only now building the tools to listen. It's enough to make your head spin because it suggests that every choice we make might be sending ripples backward, shaping the reality that already happened. This makes you wonder about the AI's warning, doesn't it? Maybe it wasn't a prediction at all. Maybe it was a memory of the future. Are we on the verge of a new era of enlightenment or have we just signed our own death warrant? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to stay updated on the latest developments in this unfolding story, be sure to like and subscribe. The truth is out there, and we're going to find it together. But the real question is, will we like what we find?